Wine has been an essential element of human feasts and celebrations, including weddings, since the earliest recorded time. First and foremost, I'm a travel writer. Writing is my business and has been for a long, long time. The Winery Wedding Guide started because I felt there was a need for it. At the same time, I found it very interesting to be a professional writer writing for a website like Winery Wedding Guide. What makes this winery different? What does this winery have that this winery does not have? I live in Sonoma County, in the heart of Northern California's wine country. But now in Sonoma County, there's close to 300 wineries. And I thought if I were a couple and thinking that a romantic, unique, memorable wedding might be in my plans, I'd certainly be thinking about a winery wedding. There's approximately 6,000 wineries growing every day throughout the United States. 25% of the wineries in any given place have the facilities and the permits for winery weddings. People are looking for something different. So I thought it was interesting to find out that a number of these wineries have little chapels on them so that someone who wanted that kind of a ceremony wouldn't have to give it up because they're having a winery wedding. Some wineries offer a complete soup to nuts package. Everything from a beautiful suite to change into your finery to an off to your honeymoon, clip-clop carriage, horse-drawn ride through the vineyards. Others supply nothing more than space and leave all the details up to you. I would visit them and take careful notes about the ambiance, where ceremonies might take place, indoors, outdoors. If I were a wedding planner, I'd try and get on as many lists as possible. So many of these places where the wineries are, are not only great vacation destinations, but honeymoon destinations as well. Any wedding planner who is really interested in getting into the winery wedding business should certainly make sure they're up on their homework about the wine industry, about the various kinds of wines, about the wines that are being made in various parts of the United States. If I were a wedding planner, I would absolutely include it in my marketing material. Winery weddings are so hot that I would want everyone in my locality, wherever my business is, is to know that I understand about winery weddings. I understand the uniqueness. I understand the special planning that takes place. A winery wedding business is only a small offshoot of what the winery does. And so their dates and times have to be scheduled around the winery business and they have to decide how many events can you have a year, how many people can attend them. So number one to ask is what dates are available. And certainly if I were going into the Napa Valley with three winery wedding possibilities, I'd ask fast. <laughs> if you have your idea of a big dream wedding of 500 to 1,000 people in it, you're gonna find very few winery wedding venues able to accommodate that. Some of them, their event center is their tasting room. They're always priced, most every winery will do this according to how many guests you're gonna have. So make certain that their wine is something that you want to drink and you pay for the wine that is consumed at that discount. Uh, don't be afraid to negotiate. And even if you're having wine sent for tasting because you plan to have your event there, um, ask if they would give you a discount on that. Choose a date between Monday and Thursday and you usually are going to get a pretty good deal. Biodynamic goes an interesting one step farther. Not only are they organic, but they operate their vineyards and the whole property in a very holistic sort of way. If they don't say they're organic, they're not organic. If they don't say they're biodynamic, they're not biodynamic. But beyond that, most use exceedingly green practices because it's, it's good farming. If I were planning a winery wedding, I don't think I'd give a whole lot of thought to whether or not it's an estate or not. It really won't make that much difference in the quality or what happens at your particular wedding. Oftentimes these beautiful wedding sites are out in the countryside. Are you guests going to be happy with porta potties? As a wedding player, if your bride is dead set on that dress with a 30-foot train behind and those wonderful satin Jimmy Shoe sandals and has to traipse down through the vineyard row, maybe she better rethink that one. Now let's take the couple who really doesn't care. 
who don't know anything about wine. They just love this winery wedding site because they think it's a beautiful venue and they've always wanted to have a wedding out in the countryside and as far as the wines are concerned, as long as they're okay, they don't really care. In that case, leave them alone. Don't talk about the wines. For wedding planners, a winery wedding might be the easiest wedding you've ever put together.